Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. Hey, we're back at Madison County. I'm gonna shut the engine off and uh, do a little uh, brush hugging, bush hugging, brush hugging, brush hugging or bush hugging. Which one is it? I don't know. I think we'll just call it brush hugging, or is it bush hugging? I don't know. Either way, it's it's the same. So basically, we're gonna take out. This, I'm going to take out part of that field too, but you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be replowing it anyway. I done got off my grass texture here. Uh, so we need to go this way. Take out this brush just underneath these trees. Brush, I said brush, so we're going to go with brush hogging. I naturally wanted to say brush. So we'll go with that. So we'll take a little bit of this out at a time. And you know what? I done took out part of that field right had Nope. It's back there. There. Okay, we're good. I'm going to probably take it out anyway. Honestly, I'm probably going to plow this together back here. Uh, Got to get the straight trees down uh, to to the lumber mill, sawmill, uh, and then finish chipping these. But for right now, I'm going to finish clearing this brush, and then we're going to take our little combine sitting here by the truck. Because we got another field we got to harvest. we got to get this harvest done. I still got a guy running up in, um, oh, up there, field 96. He's still going, so I probably need to hop up there real quick, to be honest. Let me do that. Uh, let's see, I got another toy, and I might have shown it on the last episode. I didn't say anything about it. Uh, I bought the Crone Swadro 2000. This is uh, kind of like the dark green one that we had on Kiwi. I think I've... Uh, I think I like this one better. It's it's kind of the lighter green color, and this is the widest wind rover that I've seen, 18 meters. So bought that. Gonna be rowing up the uh, straw here. Stop this guy for now, um, so I can work on these other projects. So we're gonna tab. There's our new truck. Hop out of the truck. We want our new refurbished combine here. So we're gonna head down the road a ways. Well, really not a ways. Not too far of a ways. I'm gonna get around the truck here. I probably could have fit through there. Oh well, we'll go around this way. We're gonna take the road that we are not gonna plow under back to field number 105, I think it is. We've got some canola back there, and it is ready to harvest. Ready to go. So if you haven't seen the last previous episode, spoiler alert, you've probably already seen it now. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to grind out, number one. Number two, we've cleared out this forest pretty much. i got to get the, uh, I'm going to get the straight trees and I think cut them maybe. And take them up to the uh, sawmill for lumber. I would almost invest in a scorpion king, but there's not a lot of those trees around here. Most of the trees around here are the crooked kind. So, yeah. So we'll head down the roadways here. I hope I can get across the bridge with this thing. I've been cutting trees, been getting chips, wood chips. We've made it up to $447,000. You know, we actually probably should sell some grain before we do this. Because that crop is not really that desperate of need of harvesting. Still kind of yellow-ish. It's not even the dark orange color yet. So why don't we do that? Why don't we go sell some grain? We've got some grain we need to sell. The prices are good right now uh, on the ones we do want to sell. The corn uh, and the oat. So we'll bring this back here. Make a right. Or a left. You know what? I don't recall which way we need to go with this well, there's the field I think there's a uh, fence in here though isn't there no there's not a fence right here tell you what let's do a little mowing do a little brush I want to see I keep wanting to say bush hogging maybe that's what we should go with uh, tell you what, since this goes right up through there, we'll just clear this out right here. 
How about it? We want to be able to fit our header through there. Can we fit our header through there? We may have to cut some trees down up here before we can get up in through here. Uh, let's find a place where we can get our header through. Actually, you know what? I think it'll fit right through here. I think it'll fit right up in between these trees here. So we'll kind of curve around and come up through there. Let me go ahead and grab it real quick. Gotta get all the bushes. There's, there's one more there. We can trim them back a little. Okay. Let's grab our harvester real quick. Goes uphill a little bit, but I think we can make it work. Just gonna get this set up and ready to go to start that uh, cutting up there. Back up a little, back up, back up. And our other combine's full, how about that? Babysitting combines, guys, it's the name of the game. So we're just going to park this right here, we'll come back and we'll start cutting on this at some point. I need to find the 6R. Actually, I need to pull that out first. He's almost done. He only has, what, maybe a couple passes left after this one. So he's just about finished. Um, 6R, there you are. Let's put on the speed, and you know what, I can't, I can't unfill him because I'm full. Didn't think this through. Uh, where's the truck? There it is. It's got a little bit of soybeans in the front, but I think we can put that in the back. So we will head up the road a ways here. Ready to get this harvest over with. We got work to do on trees. Chipping and a stumping and a cutting and a sp uh, splicing or dicing or whatever you call it. Segmenting trees, I guess. Felling trees, that's it. That's the word. Whoa, Nelly. We gotta slow down. Oh man, I. Oh, okay, so some of the signs are uh, knock knockdownable. Some of them are phase throughable, some of them you can knock down. Okay. That's interesting to know. Get back here and work, turn these into fields. Love this map. Absolutely love it. Based on a real place, it feels like a real place. It's a real place. One of the homesteads right there. That's actually a big homestead. It's got two big sheds. I'm thinking about moving the homestead more centrally located, but I kind of like where it's at now. I like where we've got our our um, homestead established down there kind of close to stuff. It's close to the shop. It's close to the sawmill. Not to say you can't have more than one. You could totally have more than one homestead. I mean, we already do. I mean, take a look at this homestead. We own this one here. It's a smaller homestead, but it's still a homestead. It's got a little, uh, little barn back here where you can park some stuff in. Another little shed over here to the right. Uh, that is the in-game barn that you can't do absolutely squat with. You would think they would at least made it to where you could open the door and park something in there like a tractor. I mean, they show it in the trailer. But they didn't do it. I don't know why. Alright, I'm just going to park this right here. We'll tab back to the 6R, wherever it may be. There it is. Fast. We'll empty this first, and then we'll empty the combine, let him keep rolling. He should be able, I don't know, he might be able to make those, this last little bit here, and not fill up.
Remember I told you these guys, these Kinseys can roll? Let's see if I can demonstrate it. Yep, it, yep, yep, there, whoop, there you go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these Kinseys can roll. So be careful, guys. Always use farm safety. This has been a public service announcement from the Bureau of Farming Simulator Safety and Hazardous Operations. Zero days without an incident, guys. I don't think I've ever been above zero days without an incident on my farms. There's been an incident of some kind, whether it's crashing into trees or rolling stuff over or something. It happens. Definitely happens. Alright, this will not fill up the trailer, so let's go grab the combine now. Put the pipe in. back up as soon as he's done emptying and we're gonna sell grain this episode guys I promise we're gonna go sell something here eventually maybe someday we'll sell up all our grain we'll finish harvesting someday Really? The engine cut off? Mm, I want my engines to stay on. Is there a mod for that yet? Does anybody know? Is there a mod where you can keep your engine on no matter what? No matter if you're on the other side of the 4X map or not? There should be. I want to keep my engines running. Actually, you know, this guy's about out of fuel. <laughs> Hope he's got enough fuel to finish the field here. Alright, so let's go. I'll go, go ahead and dump this over here. Get it dumped. Should be enough room in there for this last little bit. Should be. Maybe. Hopefully. You know what? I'm worried it might not be. Oh, very not. Filled it up. Well, we'll drive this uh, Argo wagon back down to the farm anyway. So. Actually, you know, I was going to talk about that. I think I kind of mentioned it a little bit in the last episode, but not fully. I may not place any sheds on this map. There is plenty of sheds that we already own now to park a lot of this stuff. So I may not be um, may not be placing any placeable sheds. Alright, let's go back to our truck here. We're gonna go ahead and roll the truck here. Now we don't want to roll it over, but we want to make it roll. We want to get down to our silos so we can sell some crop. And I would be hauling two of the crops that we're not planning on selling right now. Not planning on selling it right now. Doesn't mean I won't sell it. You know, hold my orange soda. I might sell it. Just saying. So I'm going to take you guys back out the uh, back entrance here. It's totally a back entrance. And I'm going to have to turn wide here. Ooh. Got it. All right, we'll go out the back entrance here and uh, drive over the uh, quick creek that they put down here. So I guess we won't be plowing these fields together because of the quick creek. I don't know, unless we can uh, landscape over it. Honestly, probably I'll keep them split and just extend this field road on down here maybe a little. Have it come around here and have just a little field road on the back side of this uh, shed once we own that property. Right now, we don't own it and we're just kind of driving through it. Soybeans are coming in nice. Gotta be honest, I'm ready for Seasons, the Seasons mod. I wonder if we can do Seasons on this map. If this map is Seasons ready. Huh. I would hope it would be, because I really want to get into Seasons. 
may have to do it over on uh, mid mid blah, Midwest Horizon. That map is going to be coming out very soon. Uh, it's in testing. They fixed all the stuff. They actually sent it back to them, so they fixed all the stuff that Giants told them to fix, and they resubmitted it. So unless Giants finds something else for them to fix, it should be coming soon. I would say they're they're it's on the list. So I would say maybe within two weeks to a month, two to four weeks, something sometime in that neighborhood. So definitely by summer. We'll say that because we're getting close to it. Summer is what? June 22nd? Is that when it starts? June 20th? June 21st? Something like that? Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there, and y'all. So we're going to make a little bit of money this episode. Uh, might be a double episode here. And not a silent double episode. I may be talking, so get ready. Buckle up your seatbelts, kids. Start your engines. And I think I am going to cut this tree there and place some lights there. I just, I'm going to wait till night to place the lights to see how they look. Alright, let's dump this grain and we're going to go sell some grain. I think we're going to start with corn. What do we have? We have corn that we want to sell. We have oats that we want to sell. Price for sunflower is going down. We've got more soybeans to harvest. Uh, canola ain't a bad price. We might harvest that canola and sell it out of the field. But for right now, let's go. Tell you what, we'll take the oats first. Oats are going way up the road. We'll start with oats. Dead empty? Alright, we're good to go. And like I said, I am going to redo this. This is partially why I want to go ahead and sell the grain out of the silos because I'm going to redo the silos here. The main silo and the two beside it are going to stay. Uh, that one up there to our 11 o'clock is probably going to stay. Um, the one behind there back there is going to go. The one on the far left corner back there will probably stay, and the one right in front of the, uh, kind of straight in front of the dump point there will probably go. So those back two right ones, I'm probably going to sell. That one will probably stay, and like I said, the one back on the far left corner will stay. Kind of went a little nuts with it, placing them, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm going to have to re-level that back there. And what I may do, what I'm thinking about doing is adding them two more, maybe right here beside the big green silo, the fill point, and just going straight back with it. As I, th I think that's what I'm going to do. That's the plan. There we go. Yep, we are. Cover on. Let's go sell. So now we're going to Miller's, right? With the oats. Yeah, Miller's has the highest price. So that is up the road where the barn's at there. I'm going to have to find it. I think it's right in front of the barn sell point, to be honest. It looks like it's almost right on top of it. Alright. Northbound and down. I'm going to sell some oats. And we're going to do what they say can't be done. We've got a short ways to go. I'm going to try not to flip her. I'm northbound, just... Watch old old king run. Keep your foot hard on the pedal. Son, never mind them brakes. Cause we, let's see. Son, never mind them brakes. Keep your foot hard on the pedal. Son, never mind them brakes. I done forgot the words. Let it all hang out cause we got a run to make. There we go. Uh, the horses are hungry up at Miller's. And we're... Gonna invest in tillers. We'll sell this grain no matter what it takes. <laughs> need to stick to my day job. Go ahead and say it. Oh, where are we going? <laughs> I need to pay attention here. Is that? Nope. That's not it. Is it this one? It's this one. 
follow the paved road. Always trust the paved road. Now where are we going? Miller's right there. Miller's Feed and Seed. Purina. Show feeds, Kent. A difference you can see. Whatever. And that road goes, you can take that road and it goes back south down to the shop, so. Where is their cell point? I'm going to guess right there. That looks like the good spot for it. There is the bale cell point over there. So that's where we'll take bales, and I think that's also the silage cell point. So that's where we go for that. Let's go ahead and sell our grain. Ooh, we're making some money, guys. We're making some money. Money, money, money. So for 45,000 liters, we make $42,000. Not bad. How many, how many? We got, ooh, yeah, we got a whole other load left and then some. So we're making money. I wonder if you can fill on seed in there. Because there's a lot of seed in there. We, we saw that in the first uh, look video. I wonder if you can fill up on stuff in there. Since there's a sign that says feed and seed, I'm going to say yes. So we might utilize that in the future. Can you guys hear me? My meter's not moving very much. I may be a little quiet. Let me move my mic over just a little. Here we go. Now you can probably hear me more. Am I loud? Nah, probably not too much. If I get up on it, I am. Yep, not going to get up on it. Going to stay right here where I'm at. Nice, comfortable distance from the microphone. Alright, let's go get some more oats. Sell them beautiful oat footage. Oh, wait. Bean footage. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Well, I like some bushes of uh, baked beans. You gotta customize it a little bit, you know? Usually I get, like, pork and beans, and then I have, like, my own recipe that I do. It involves, uh, let's see, ketchup. I'm trying to remember it by, right off the top of my head. Ketchup, mustard, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce. Yep. Mm hmm and um something else yeah I have a hard time remembering it off the top of my head I do have it though so make some great great baked beans I, you know what I need to make a batch of those some good baked beans right there mm -hmm. I'm getting hungry now my stomach's gonna start growling and I don't think I have anything to eat here. So I need to extend this road out where I can go around the uh, dump point. So I don't want to drive through the dump point all the time. Alright, let's get some more oats. Whoops. Go ahead and sell the oats. Question is, what should we buy next? What's next on the list? Well, you know, I've been buying toys lately. I've got another toy that I kind of want to buy. And if we have enough by the end of this sale, we might just buy it. So we're going to have a little bit left, not a full trailer load. Uh, what we may do is take this load of Miller's get a full load of corn and then take half a load of corn to grand to guard station and then a half a load of the, the rest of the oats to millers sounds like a plan all right take this load of oats then we'll come back for a full load of corn sounds like a plan and i haven't uploaded any videos today but I'm going to upload a bunch overnight tonight, so get ready. There'll be a bunch come out. Mainly this map, Madison County, because I am having a blast on this map. This map is so much fun. Just because it's kind of it's kind of homey. You know, it's got that homey feel, and we've got a lot of projects on this map. Not that we don't have projects on our other maps, but... I don't know, this it's the character of the map. I've said it every I think I've said it every episode. I love the map. This is an American map. I could play this map probably uh 
I could probably continually, continuously play this map, although if an update comes out onto it, I'll probably just restart it. I don't know. I don't know how that would go. I could definitely play this map again. Maybe with a 1.3 update and um, seasons. I would like that. 1.3 update and seasons. And maybe do something with uh, this chunk down here. You know, it's kind of, it's not finished and the border is actually right across this creek here. I wouldn't mind seeing something additional down here. Maybe some smaller fields or something that you could purchase or, you know, another sale point. You know, maybe added down there as well. Definitely more fieldage. Um, uh, if no update comes out to it, we will do something with that in the long run. But for now, we are a small farm. Struggling to make money. Yeah, we're not struggling. We're actually, we're doing okay. We're not poor. We got food on the table, guys. And that's always good. We can order a pizza every night. Ooh, pizza. That does sound good. I'm almost out of pizza. I've got four slices, I think, left in the fridge. Leftover pizza. So, maybe tomorrow night. I don't know, I'm getting, I might get spaghetti tomorrow, and that's Italian too, so you can't have Italian, double Italian, well, I'm not even going to say that because you totally can, I've done it before, you can have Italian twice on the same day. Spaghetti is like a formal Italian dinner, and pizza is like a fast Italian dinner. Does that make sense? Because, you know... You could get a burger from McDonald's, or you could go to, like, Texas Roadhouse or Colton's or, you know, someplace like that and get a burger, and it's completely different, okay? Trust me. So, yeah, there's there's differences in, in the different types of food. Of course, those are the same thing. Uh, how do I draw a comparison? You could get a burger, a beef burger, flame broiled, something like that, or you could get a steak. That's kind of the difference between pasta, like uh, spaghetti or something like that, and uh, pizza. Drawing a fair conclusion. I'm getting hungry, so I need to stop talking about food. Need to stop. Oh, hey, we're up to $613,000 now. That's cool. I'm just wondering if that price on the wood chips has uh, changed any. Nope, it's holding steady at 173 so... Hopefully it will keep holding... Keep holding on. Right, under the trestle and through the woods to our homestead we go. Now we're going to get a full load of corn. Totally need to pay for this in here. Just a little bit. Just extend it maybe like for one... Um, road width there. So not the oats. Uh, corn. Sell some corn. Corn. Corn, corn sounds good too. You know where I might get lunch today? The buffet. They got chicken and corn and mashed potatoes and green beans and like a broccoli rice cheese casserole and peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. I'm about to eat my lips. I'm getting hungry. I gotta quit talking about food. Somebody help me. I gotta stop talking about food. What are we gonna do? Let's talk about the weather. It's currently raining. That's it. It's currently raining. It's not cold. It's kinda actually on the warmer side. It's like 73 degrees. 70, 73. Alright, now this is going to the guard station, right? Corn. There's corn. 809 at the guard station. I wonder why they call it guard station mill. You know that maybe it's real name in real life. Miller's and guard station uh, mill. That might be its name in real life. Because this is based on a real life map. Well, that's a tiny field there. Too bad those aren't broken up into clusters, like, you know, as tiny fields. 
We could buy a few a little as we go. And I am going to pave in something here, or put gravel in right here to make a little curve right through there. So we can turn that a little bit easier. I'll put in gravel for now, and then if the uh, map maker wants to put in a uh, paved uh, road, I can certainly do that. Alright, this is guard. Oop, oop, nope, there's a little bump there. A little uh, guardrail there. Oh, wait, that says do not enter. Hang on. I'm doing it wrong. I am doing this way wrong. That says do not enter. We gotta go in from the other side. Enter from the other side. We cannot break the do not enter sign. Enter from the other side. Don't roll your truck in the process, Matt. America. Every time I see an American flag, I'm going to say that. America. So, Power Grain, Pioneer, wait a minute, that says Pioneer Grain Storage. Are we at the right place? thought that was it. Yeah, this is it. Guard Station Mill, this is it. That says Pioneer Grain Storage. Maybe that's the real life name then. So we'll pull on in here. Whoa, no, stop truck. Back up. Right there. Been sell some corn. Make some money. Not gonna make as much as we do with the oats, but we'll make a little bit. Yeah, not quite as much. Oh, well, I was awfully tempted to sell the soybeans, but the price are going down on it now, so we'll wait. We'll hold on to it. We've got more coming in anyway, so we will wait until that price comes up. We'll keep, we'll keep the sunflower and the soybeans for a rainy day. How about that? For a rainy day. If it rains here. Hopefully it does. I want to see if that windshield wiper works on that uh, refurbished combine we bought. Right through here. Just a little gravel bit to... Uh, connect with this road. Under the trestle and through the woods. Alright, so we're going to do half corn, half oat. Is that right? I think we can fit them both in here. So we'll load the corn first. Uh, yeah. Corn first. And then we'll load the oats in the back. So we got some money now. Is field 119 still in potatoes? Yes it is. Darn. Ooh. Nope, it's been harvested. Never mind. I was going to say, there's some oat down there, but it's been harvested. I think the next thing is we'll harvest uh, 105 up there. After we sell here. But that calls. Oats. Field uh, growth is on, right? Plant growth? Yes, it's on fast. Why do potatoes take so long? I'm ready to buy that. Do -do 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 -do. Guess we could work on this over here maybe real soon. I know we've kind of started on Project 108 up there, and Project 108 has now become Project. Uh, 107. So I think we're I think we're almost done with 108. There's a few trees I'm gonna cut down up there. A few more. We've already cut a million. And billions and billions and billions. There literally might be billions and billions of trees here. 
I don't know, probably not billions, but I would say there's a really good chance there would be over a thousand here, maybe more. Because you, you look and you count how many trees are just like in this small section of the map, especially like right out here. I would say there's thousands of trees. I'll, I'd say that's a safe bet. Thousands and thousands. Maybe close to 10,000. And no, I do not want to sell the oat. I want to sell the corn. Corn is being sold here. 700,000. And... Oh, we do not want to sell the oat here. Ooh, that almost was really bad. I don't have my beacons on either. We want to take the oats up north. Sorry, grain guys, you're not getting my oats. You don't want to pay enough money for them. I can get way more for them at Miller's. If the price is still good. It is still good. Corn price is still good too. I have to keep an eye on that soybean price. It's going up there at uh, the guard mill. So I have a feeling the soybean price will get over 2000 It got up to like 1945 right then. So I have a feeling that price will go higher. Let's take these oats up there. Sunflower price. Looks like it might be bottoming out at the guard station mill. Still going down at Miller's though. Now I'll wait for all that to go back up. Wait for a good price. How much of that do I have? I'm about to look again. Whoa, nearly. Mm hmm, quite a bit. Hopefully, I can sell those bins off and it won't affect that. I'll just I'll hold off on selling the bins. We won't be harvesting any more crop. And you know what? I have missed my turn. Back into this little drive here. Y'all about to see some skill here. Look at this skill. Check out all this skill. Look at that. Look at that. How about all that skill? Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Alright. Getting down here. They need to bring back uh, Mad TV. They need to bring that back. Why did it ever... Why did they cancel it? That was a great show. It gave SNL some competition. Well, you know, when you come up that hill, it kind of rears your front end up where you can't steer. Alright, oats are being sold here. Okay, not a full load, so we won't get as much as we got before. But we'll get some. And we got money, guys. Just like that, we got money. Uh, I think that's all we got in storage. All the wood chips are out of there. Yeah, there's zero wood chips. So we've just got canola, not canola, we've got soybeans and sunflowers in there. So that's all we've got left. I think we're going to hold on to those for right now. Um, until the price gets better, because that price is going down on soybeans now too, so we'll just hang on to it. Do some more wood chipping and uh, kind of want to buy some property. What can we buy? Let's turn the grass off. That's a little too much. And that we really don't have access to unless we buy that. They will not get rid of the potatoes in 119 yet. And I don't want to, I really don't want to plow under their crop, so. What else we got that's cheap? That's 183, but they got, you know, they got cotton in that. Oh, the cotton's just been harvested. And there's some oats up there. And what is that? Is that barley? We could, ooh. A bird just crashed into my window. That was random. 
193,000. That's a bit steep for that, but it does include a horse paddock. Let's, while we're here, let's take a look at this property. It's got a house on it. The cotton has been harvested. It's got a pretty good sized shed there that we could park stuff in. Now I saw a horse paddock somewhere. Where did I see that at? Is it this way? Or is that across the road? Do we own this? Is this included in the package? It says it is. We could totally buy this property across the road here too from it. Nice white fence. It's got a horse paddock. We really should get into horses. There is money in horses. And we've got workers that will ride our horses and stuff to take care of them. There's another shed on the back of this. Yeah, there's another storage shed there. This is something here. Um, so... I feel like one of these doors should be open because there's totally building here that's not being utilized. Can we go in that? Whoa! Whoa! Um... This might be a little people farm. I'm just saying. Because the top of this door goes up to my hips. Guess we can kneel down and go. This might be. Maybe this. Ooh, you know what? This might be where they have the horses that the jockeys have. Because jockeys are short. And that looks like a jockey door. It's probably what it is. It may just. We'll just call it maybe a little maintenance door or something like that. I don't know. But. Yeah. Okay. So I have a feeling what they what what we did here with this building. Now this door is regular height. So this is this is the people for me that's six foot three to go in, and the other door back there might be for the jockeys. Maybe that's where the jockeys. That maybe that's where they sleep or something. I don't know. Or we could call that maybe just like a little uh, uh, backup generator door. There's a backup generator in there for the lights or something. I don't know. I don't know. We come up with some kind of baloney story. But a uh, nice little property here. Um, I don't know. We'll come back next time and see if we want to buy this. We'll hold on to our money. Uh, still got some harvests going on. This guy looks like he finally finished up here. So we'll bring him back down and get ready to harvest uh, some of these other fields that we have. There, This one, 94, is almost ready. Uh, 105 is ready. We'll start that next time, I think. Um, and we got a little bit of oat right there and a little bit of barley right there so if we buy this it includes all that all right guys so that's the game plan we'll go grab our truck and uh, take it on back down we might be buying miller's feed and seed i don't know haven't decided yet maybe it could happen find out next time until then remember you reap what you sow it's matt from the green arcade guys we'll see you guys later